Hey guys, what's happening? It's your average Dable, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a review for Merlis Action. Um, this is a screen recorder, screen capture, whatever you want to call it, um, thing, program. Uh, it costs thirty dollars. The link to the uh, act technically twenty nine ninety five. Um, so it's it's not as expensive as some other recorders, and I find it to be better. And some other recorders this is very user friendly it has easy to use tabs like general settings obviously that's video webcam sound so it's very easy to use and i will go through all of it now so um and also this is the hud which i will go into later it just shows my fps but this is wrong because it's the desktop so let me show you guys some of the features uh this is where your video video recordings will pop up this is the video tab obviously uh, I have it set to F9 right now. You can change that. I will show that later. But um, you can either set this to games and applications. So if I just had Minecraft open, uh, it would just record Minecraft. Even if the uh, size of the window was just this big, it would just record this and not the screen out here. So that's very useful if you have multiple things going on at once, like rules over here, something for a Minecraft map, and you want to record Minecraft but not the whole screen. You can do that. You can record the whole screen, um, like your whole desktop screen, which what is what I, I'm doing right now. And you can do a select region, which uh, you would just um, so, uh, modify where you wanted it to record. And you just uh, hit the record button. It would only record that space that you selected. So uh, there's two file formats, AVI and MP4. Both work in Movie Maker if you're worried about that. MP4 highest is 720, um, AVI highest is 1080, or the original that you're recording in if you have a bigger screen, uh, that's one thing. You can record your video frame rate up to 60, lowest is 15. Um, you can record a duration, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think duration is like if you want, um, if you want to record like 30 minutes exactly or something like that it would uh, record for only 30 minutes or something like that. Um, but don't quote me on that, I'm not sure, I've never used it. Uh, you can record system sounds, which is what I do when I record, because uh, I want you guys to hear me breaking blocks in Minecraft, that's very important. Um, you can do multi-channel audio, but I don't know what that is, so I don't mess with it. And microphone, you can record on button, always record or do not record at all. So I find that very helpful. Um, I usually just use all always record because I'm always talking and commenting. Um, 10 minutes ago, I got the update for, um, free trial. And then it's like $2 for a day. I mean, not a day, $2 for like a month, $30 for a year. And then there's another one like in between that. But, uh, I'm not going to do that until later if I really want to. Um, and also, this is where you can live stream to. I don't know uh, if it's to if you can do a specific YouTube channel or not, but I haven't tried it, so I might do that later just to check it out. Uh, video f uh, size up to 720, and video frame rate up to 60, and you can choose your bit rate and all this good stuff. So next on to audio recording. This is just audio recording. If you wanted that. Uh, you can u either use it as a wave, put that in Audacity, or an MP4. I don't know if that goes into Audacity, but I know a wave goes into Audacity. And, um, yeah, so in case you wanted to just record your voice or just record something, um, you can do that. Obviously, uh, I don't know what record silence is, but whatever. And then, um, you can do always record, record on button, or do not record, and for a duration. For benchmarking, I don't know what benchmarking is, so I don't mess with it. But, um, yeah, this is what that is. If you guys know what it is, that's cool. Uh, you can capture screenshots in JPEG, PNG, or bitmap, um, or BMP, whatever it is. Um, and you can either, um, do the entire desktop, or just, uh, if you have a second monitor, you can do that as well. Now, this is the general settings tab right here, this one. Uh, just a little, some other stuff, language, obviously, you have a good amount of languages that I don't know any of them. So, yeah, um, video settings, it says it right there, so if you're confused on which one's which,
just look up here and it'll say webcam. Obviously, that's a webcam sound and all that good stuff. But uh, video recording, change your uh, video quality, change your input range, use multi-core, whatever, all this cool stuff. Use overlay graphics. I believe this is if you want a picture uh, somewhere in the uh, top any of these positions uh, I believe you can put a picture but I haven't tried it so don't take my word on that uh, and you can change your input range I don't know you can visualize your mouse, mouse clicks as well if you're doing like a tutorial or something but I don't really like that personally um, you can record webcam while you are um, gaming so like if I want to hit record um, I can have that set so that it always records or records on a button I can have it set to a specific place wherever I want here. Uh, so let's say this is your window. You can put it in the corners, anywhere you want, um, wherever it's necessary. And you can record up to two webcams, which I find is really interesting because I've never seen anybody do more than one webcam at a time. Um, and yes, always uh, either buttons or whatever. And, uh, yeah, so you can also change your format from 69 to 4.3 for microphone, <coughs> excuse me, I apologize, uh, for microphone settings, you can do, um, um, really anything you want, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, restricted to microphones, you can do, um, like, that's my computer, but I have that, uh, set to record while I also record my headset, so it's recording my computer sounds and my um and my headset uh microphone so I can commentate while you guys hear me breaking blocks and stuff. So in like Minecraft and you could set your uh bitrate. I don't mess with that because um I have no clue what that does or whatever. Um and you can record microphone into a separate audio track as an AVI. That is also very useful if you want to edit your voice or something, or if your voice doesn't come out right, or if it's too low in the recording, um, you have this audio track that you can edit and stuff like that. Um, there's also a HUD. This is the HUD that I was talking about earlier, um, and this shows your frame rate, but it's a, it's a little bit weird on the desktop. I don't know why it says I'm getting five, 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 th 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 one to five frames but um trust me don't worry about that i'll open up minecraft and show you guys um the different stuff cpu usage um it usually for me hovers around a three um when i wasn't recording it was uh just having the program open it was around a one to a point five something like that one to zero so it really doesn't take a lot of um cpu usage as you would see to uh record the desktop now, obviously, I'll open up Minecraft and do all that stuff, but I'll show that later. Um, so the HUD, um, you can make it not record, which is what I do during um, stuff, and you can change where you want it. I usually just have it top right if I ever have it on. The export settings, um, you can upload straight to YouTube. Uh, so the way you would do that is you would just click a video. I don't have it here, but you, like you click this video when it's done, and just hit the YouTube button or the uh, export button or Facebook or something like that and you would just um, hit the start button and you would um, start uploading to YouTube or Facebook or wherever so, and you can uh, remember password and all that good stuff uh, export output folder um, this is where um, when you are done recording like when I'm done recording this it's gonna go to this folder and it's gonna be right here uh, if you delete it off this little file thing right here, it also deletes it out of this um, out of this folder too. So be careful uh, deleting stuff out of here. It um, it also deletes it out of the folder, but it probably just goes to your recycle bin so you can get it back. And um, all these settings, uh, you can export, mouse click, and all that weird stuff. So um, sorry, that's my phone. If you guys can hear that. And you can also do hotkey settings. Uh, right now I have it set for F9. There's multiple things. You can webcams F4, but that's always on and always off right now. But uh, so yeah, there's a bunch of settings that you can do, live streaming, all that good stuff. And let me show you guys what you can do um, with this, uh, like in Minecraft. So I'll just go run Minecraft and I'll look at this as well, have this open. It spiked a little bit, and now it's hovering 
around. Let me open up the actual thing. This is my modded one, so it should take up a little bit more um, memory than a normal one, just because it's so many mods and stuff. Um, so let's see what this looks like. And as you can see, I have like some obviously mods installed, and I've been uh, <laughs> I've been having fun with some of the stuff. But um, so I'm hovering around 2025. Um, so it's really not bad. You can uh, obviously go to full screen if I want to. I think that's here, and I hope that didn't script the recording. But now I should be recording in full screen. There's obviously some chunk lag, but this is just me pressing down, and there really isn't any um problems. I'm recording at a cool 40. Around a 40, 40 frames per second without any tornadoes on or anything. So it's really not bad. That's actually pretty good, uh, in my opinion. I'd rather be getting 60, but, um, oh well, I guess, right? So, um, yeah, so this is, wow, that's weird chunk lag. So, um, yeah, so Minecraft works pretty well with this. Let me just, uh, get out of the full screen. Make sure I'm still recording. I am? Okay, awesome. So, obviously, right now I'm getting um, 50 f or 60 frames just because uh, I'm not in full screen anymore. And as you can see, it's very smooth. There's like, I really don't see any uh, lag besides a couple of shadows and, uh, and chunks. But really, that's it. Um, so, I hope you guys have enjoyed... Uh, let me just quickly show you guys my new channel art. Um, just did it today. Um, this is the new channel art. Um, I obviously do Let's Plays in Minecraft. I did tutorials on installing uh, a mod and gaming is like COD and stuff like that. The only MW2 uh, gameplay you will see from now on are nukes. So you don't have to worry about stupid random gameplay from MW2 way back when. You guys know how it is. I know you guys don't want to see any old gameplay. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, the website to Morellis Action looks like this. This will be in the description. And if you want to um, go download this, you can go to store, click on store. And it's this first one right here. It is $30. And as you can see, it's um, obviously uh, the live streaming costs some money. But um this is a very good program. I recommend it to anybody who either wants to uh, do YouTube or is currently doing YouTube and they need um, a better a better recorder, screen recorder. This is definitely a top one. It barely uses any uh, CPU. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope this was useful. Links will be in the description and I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.